gitu. Our esteemed guest for the evening, Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, would be arriving in a while. Everyone is requested to take their seats and to kindly keep their mobiles on silent mode during the program.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to the 28th Lal Bahadur Shastri Memorial Lecture. I take special pride in welcoming our chief guest, Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. <laughs> Spiritual leader and the founder of Art of Living. Gurudev, it's a pleasure to have you amongst us today. This event is being jointly organized by the Lal Bahadur Shastri Memorial Trust and the Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management. Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Delhi, is one of the prominent management institutes in the country. The institute was established in the year 1995, keeping in mind the values of Bharat Ratna, Lal Bahadur Shastri Ji. The institute currently offers eight postgraduate management programs approved by the AICTE. Now I would like to request our chief guest, Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, Shri Anil Shastri, Shri Sunil Shastri, Dr. A.K. Das, Professor Praveen Gupta to light the ceremonial lamp and pay floral tributes at the portrait of Shri Lal Bahadur Shastri. Thank you, everyone. I'd request all the dignitaries to kindly take their seats on the stage. I now request Sri Sunil Shastri, trustee Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust, to present a planter as a symbol of our gratitude to Gurudev. May I now request Dr. A.K. Das, Director, Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust, to present a planter to Gurudev. Thank you, sir. 
May I now request Sri Anil Shastri, holding trustee, Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust, to deliver the welcome address. Please, sir. Respected Gurudev, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Ji, Shri Sunil Shastri, Trustee of the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust, Director of the Lal Bahadur Shastri Memorial, Dr. Ekedas, Director of the Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Dr. Pravin Gupta, distinguished diplomat, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity of extending a very hearty welcome to all of you present here tonight, and particularly our speaker of the day, respected Gurudev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Ji. It, it gives me great pleasure to be welcoming Gurudev this evening, particularly because I have been hearing about him so much. I have listened to him also on the television. And uh, I have read also a lot about him. And it is a great opportunity for me to be seeing him in person today in this auditorium. In fact, when I requested him as the holding trustee of the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust to deliver the 28th Lal Bahadur Shastri Memorial Lecture, which, as you all know, is organized on the 11th of January, which happens to be the 10th anniversary of Shastri Ji, because he passed away on this day, many miles away, in a city called Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. I'm so happy that the Uzbekistan ambassador is present to India, is present here in this auditorium. I also have the honor that the mayor of Tashkent has nominated me as an honorary citizen of Tashkent. This is the respect and honor that the people of Uzbekistan have for Lal Bahadur Shastri. There is a statue there, there is a Shastri street, and there is also a school called Lal Bahadur Shastri School. And they teach Hindi there. First time when I went along with my wife to the school, they said that if you want, you can speak to the students. I think class eight or nine, and even younger. So I said that, what is your name and what, are you, what, what do you study? She said, you are from Bharat, you Hindi not speak Hindi. Then I said, I'm so sorry. It's a Hindi English me baat kar rahe So this is, you know, uh, the tribute that uh, Uzbekistan has given to uh, gifts to Shastriji and even to the family. And the president of uh, Uzbekistan has been in the process of transforming that nation, the beautiful country of Uzbekistan. So it is on 11th January that we remember Shastriji and also the city of Tashkent. As I said that, in principle, Gurudev had agreed to deliver the lecture on the 11th of January uh, this year, but it could not materialize on account of two reasons. One was the COVID situation, which prevailed not only in India, but across the world. And the second reason was that Gurudev was in America at that time. And that too, he was in the western part of America. If he was on the eastern side, he was in New York. 
The difference was nine and a half hours in the month of January, perhaps you could have managed. But since he was in the western part, the difference was about more than 13 hours. As a result of which, even if he had to organize this lecture, uh, Gurudev would have had to wake up at five in the morning to, uh, for us to listen to his lecture that too at about uh, seven or eight o'clock. So anyway, uh, nevertheless, we are very, very uh, happy that uh, he agreed, he did give a, his, his office did give a commitment that uh, I will do it in person, uh, but it will not be immediately, it could be in the month of March and April. And uh, sir, you have uh, kept your word and you are here today and we are all eagerly uh, looking forward to listening to you. We have had a uh, number of uh, renowned and eminent speakers in the past, and adding to this list of Galaxy speaker is today another internationally famed spiritual leader, Gurudev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. And uh, today, uh, Gurudev has chosen a very apt and relevant topic that is spiritual values for peace and sustainability. If we have to sustain ourselves as a society or as a nation, peace and harmony are inevitable. Shastriji, in fact, died for peace just after signing the Tuscan Declaration with Pakistan on the 10th of January, 1966. We all know that peace, because everybody is yearning for peace. So why do they yearn for peace? Because peace brings happiness, growth, and prosperity to humankind. And this is what everyone, as I said, is yearning for. The efforts being made towards peace and harmony in different corners of the globe should not go in vain. And this is possible only if good sense prevails amongst people belonging to different caste, religion, and sect. When we talk of spirituality, of course, uh, Gurudev Sri Sri Ravi Shankar will elaborate on this further. But what I understand, or what you perhaps would understand is, that spirituality means knowing that our lives have significance in a context beyond a mundane everyday existence at the level of biological needs that drives selfishness and aggression. It means that we are, it means knowing that we are a significant part of purposeful unfolding of life in our universe. For example, Mahatma Gandhi, besides being a political leader, was also a spiritual leader. He was not a great orator, neither was he a very handsome man. But he was able to connect with the people and unite them for India's freedom as whatever he said had a semblance of his spirituality. Gandhiji did not go to temples, but had, to com had complete faith in Hinduism. He offered prayers regularly. And in one of his letters to Jawaharlal Nehru, he wrote, there is nothing so bad, my dear Jawahar, there is nothing so bad in all the world, and yet I cannot leave religion. My life would be a burden to me if Hinduism failed me. I love Christianity, I love Islam, and many other faiths through Hinduism take it away and nothing remains for me. And uh, for Gandhiji, as we all know, it was truth that was God for him. And uh, let me tell you that uh, what I believe is that it is spirituality which leads to truth and it is spirituality we leave to God. And for Gandhiji, spirituality meant truth and vice versa. 
all great men become great became great because they believed in themselves they believed in karma they believed in karma as sermonized by lord krishna at the battle of kurukshetra jesus christ said i am the light of the world he who that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but will have the light of life and i believe that when jesus christ said this that i am the light of the world perhaps it symbolizes karma and those who believe karma or what lord krishna had told arjun karma again karma again leads to spirituality and is vice versa spirituality leads leads to karma and the light that jesus christ talks about is not just light it symbolizes god and spirituality as i said he said i am the light of the world jesus christ who he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but will have the light of life and and therefore if it is truth which gandhi thought god was if it is karma what lord krishna has sermonized so if you follow the path of karma and if we follow the path of truth then that leads to spirituality and leads you to god this is what i think we have been talking about what i believe in the wo- world has gone through very difficult times in the last 2 years and uh, to the account of the covid situation and india also had to go through the suffering the reason of the pandemic other than this they they we are we are witnessing conflict situations across the globe and in different parts of the country world the latest being the russia ukraine war in this core topic again i would say spiritual values for peace and sustainability chosen by gurudev is apt and relevant india is a great nation it has emerged as a major political economic social and military power in the last 20 years and i am sure that india is expected to take the initiative for bringing about global harmony friendship and sustainability among the country committee of nations i would conclude by once again extending a very hearty welcome to all of you to the 28th lal bahadur shastri memorial lecture and particularly take pleasure in welcoming gurudev sri sri ravi shankar ji and i also have to make a request to uh, gurudev that uh, uh, the lal bahadur shastri institute students has about 700 students we have and they were very keen to come here but unfortunately this hall cannot accommodate 700 people so we would request you that whenever you happen to be visiting delhi again we would request you to come to the lal bahadur shastri institute amendment and give blessing to the students of this prestigious institute and another request is that during that visit also make another visit to the lal bahadur shastri memorial and give me and my brother sunil shastri to take you around the life and times of one of the greatest sons of india lal bahadur shastri thank you so much thank you sir although a man of gurudev's stature doesn't need an introduction i would still request mr mudit shastri trustee lal bahadur shastri national memorial trust to familiarize us about gurudev and his vision of uniting the world into a global family I always wanted to experience how uh, Mr. Amita Bachchan would experience after following a speaker. That is to put up the mic a little above my eye line. So today, thanks to this tool, I have been able to take a 
higher horizon of everybody sitting here. Uh, good evening, respected Gurudev, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Ji, Mr. Anil Shastri Ji, Mr. Sunil Shastri Ji, and respected guests. At the onset, I would like to thank Lal Bado Shastri Memorial Trust for giving me this opportunity of introducing a guest like Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar Ji to such an esteemed audience. Gurudev is an epitome of the amalgamation of science and spirituality, as both spring from the urge to know. The question, who am I, leads to spirituality. And the question, what is this, leads to science. Today's topic, spiritual values for peace and sustainability, are closely linked to both spirituality and science. Because spiritual values will lead to peace but sustainability will come from science. So they are closely interlinked. And this is what Gurudev has been preaching us for many, many years. In today's personal and professional environment, with so much of stress and anxiety, Gurudev continuously urges us to live, us, live in the present moment. I would like to mention an anecdote or a story from one of the most popular sports in India. The great Sachin Tandulkar was asked once, what differentiates Virinda Sehwag from other batsmen? Sachin Tandulkar replied, Virinda Sehwag simply forgets what happens in the previous ball and does not care for the result of the next ball. He simply sees the ball and hits the ball. That is living in the moment. This is what Guru Dev urges us to do. And this is what I have done when I was preparing for my class 12 boards, I forgot my class 10th marks. When I was preparing for my college entrance exam, I forgot my class 12th uh, paper results. And now, when I go for my interviews or work in my uh, offices, I have completely wiped out whatever marks I got during my education. And now I have the audacity to tell my uh, nephews and kids that you better study, because uh, studies are the most important thing in the, in the world. So I have learned from Gurudev this. Always live in the moment and try to forget whatever failures you have got in the past. This is uh, something that is done annually where uh, I am given the honor of introducing uh, our respected guests here. I got the opportunity to introduce uh, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar, one of my idols. I was a keen cricketer. After that, I also introduced, along with that, I have introduced uh, a, Nobel winner, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, Mr. Kailash Atyarthi. So every time I'm going up, now I've reached the level of uh, Gurudev Shri Shri uh, Ravi Shankarji. And uh, every time I'm giving, given a piece of paper to give an introduction, and I'm absolutely humbled because uh, I don't think I am uh, actually eligible to give an introduction to a person like, of, of a person like Gurudev. But uh, I will try to uh, give some kind of a introduction to all of you. Gurudev was born in 1956 in southern India. And at the age of four, astonished his teacher by reciting the Bhagavad Gita. He started his lessons with his first teacher, Pandit Sudhakar Chaturvedi ji, a close associate of Gandhi ji, and went on to become a scholar in Vedic literature and modern science. Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar ji, is a universally revered spiritual and humanitarian leader. His vision of violence-free, stress-free society through the reawakening of human values has inspired millions to broaden the spheres of responsibility and work towards the betterment of the world. He is a social activist who initiates, whose initiatives include conflict resolution, disaster and trauma relief, poverty elevation, empowerment of women, prisoner rehab rehabilitation, education for all and campaign against female infanticide and child labor. He is engaged in peace negotiation and counseling in conflict zones around the world. His experience in bringing opposing parties to the negotiating table in areas such as Sri Lanka, Iraq, Colombia, Venezuela, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Ayodhya, Kashmir, Bihar is widely acknowledged. I hope to maybe involve you in one of my wars with my wife one day because you know we have a lot of fights, all of us, all the husbands and wife. So one of the wars maybe you can negotiate a peace treaty between all husbands and wife one day. 
In recognition of his initiatives, the Supreme Court of India appointed him as one of the three mediators to resolve the Ayodhya dispute, which finally ended in 2019. In 1981, Gurudev established the Art of Living, an educational and humanitarian non-governmental organization that works in special consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. Present in 156 countries, it formulates and implements lasting solutions to conflict and issues faced by individuals, communities, and nations. In 1995, Gurudev founded the International Association for Human Values to foster human values and lead sustainable development projects. He has pioneered and supported movements to revive ethics in public life, such as India Against Corruption and the World Forum for Ethics in Business. Our, uh, one of the Institute, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, is one of the premier institutes and one of the first institutes who started a course and a subject in ethics in business. He has released, he has he's reached out to an estimated 450 million people worldwide through personal interactive public events, personal interactions, public events, teachings, art of living workshops and humanitarian initiatives. Many, many of my friends and relatives are part of his art of living workshops and they have shared what kind of experience they have whenever they go through their experience. Not since Mahatma Gandhi has one person united people of different traditions and faith across the length and breadth of India. He has brought to the masses ancient practices which were traditionally kept exclusive and designed, and has designed many self-development techniques which can easily be integrated into daily life to calm the mind and instill confidence and enthusiasm. These techniques have helped thousands overcome depression and violent societal tendencies. One of Gurudev's most unique offerings to the world is the Sudarshan Kriya, a powerful breathing technique that facilitates the mental and emotional social well-being. Numerous honors have been bestowed upon Gurudev, including the highest civilian award of Colombia, Mongolia, and Paraguay. In 2016, he was conferred with the Padma Vibhushan, the highest annual civil civilian award of India. He has also been conferred with 23 honorary doc doctorates from across the world. Gurudev is the lifetime president of Sri Sri University. He is a member of the Amarnath Shrine Board, appointed by Governor, Government of Jammu and Kashmir, and Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine Board. He was appointed the chairman of the reception committee for the 500th anniversary celebration of the coronation of Krishna Devarya by the government of Karnataka. He travels to nearly 40 countries every year and addressed several international forums ex exemplifying his call to globalize wisdom. His universal and simple messages, the love and wisdom can prevail over hatred and distress. With this, on behalf of Lal Bahadur Shastri Memorial Trust and Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, I would like to welcome Gurudev Shri Shri Shankarji. प्रणवार्थाय शुद्ध ज्ञाने कमूर्ति के निर्मलाय प्रशांताय दक्षिणामूर्ति इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर फॉर मी टू बी ऑन दिस डायस विद अनिल जी एंड सुनील जी एंड एड्रेस ऑन the memorial lecture of our great Prime Minister of yesteryears, Bharat Ratna Shri Lal Bahadur Shastri Ji. We were all children in schools. When we heard the news from Tashkent, and there was not one dry eye when we heard the news that he has departed to the other side of the world. The whole country went through a big shock. In those days, we didn't have social media. We didn't have even television. All that we could do is just stick ourselves to the All India radio, that little box, that not even transistor. We had only that old type of box. You know, you see this big box, and then sometimes the needle has to move from this side and that side. Two, two stations will come at once. <laughs> and it was, 
And then no telephone connections those days, very few telephone connections. And that type of uh, pre-technology era is when we heard this news and um, we were all young, uh, we were not even teenagers at the time, young people, then we, we were all in a big shock. But his stature has always inspired people and continues to inspire. A calm and gentle personality and his voice. You know, a person's voice indicates most of his personality. Whether someone is aggressive or loving, caring, you can all notice it in their voice. The tone of the voice. Don't you think so? Do you all agree with me? You know, hey, go no. It has a different uh, feeling. Aap kaise ho? Has a different feeling. You know, the tone, tenure, uh, the commitment of a person comes out in that. So whatever little bit what we have heard in the radio, we could easily feel that what a nice person he was. Of course, his family would know that better, that nobody can express it much more than people who have worked with him and people who have been around him. Now, coming to the topic of today, spirituality, peace and sustainability. What spirituality has to do? We think spirituality is doing some ritual, sitting in a, some corner, Veda, Vedant is for those who are Vedant. Young people, you ask the spirituality. It was a time when spirituality was taught, thought to be a matter of only elderly people. When they retire, then they sit in a temple or somewhere and they do some chanting or read some books. That is what is considered a spiritual thing. Or the old lady at home, the grandmother, sit and keep doing rosary. That was taken as... A religious practice was considered a spirituality and is nothing to do with the rest of the life or how to live life. That was a wrong understanding. It was a misnomer. It was only later that people started realizing spirituality is that which aids our life in so many ways. It brings solution to many things, including... And uh, the, the gentleman who introduced me said about the conflict between me and my wife, definitely spirituality will help there. In what way? In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, um, you know, ashantasya kutasukam. If you are disturbed, where is the happiness? And what do you want? You ask anybody what you want? Happiness. And can you have happiness if you are not peaceful? No way. But have we taught how to find peace? Neither in school nor at home. Nobody teaches you how to get rid of negative emotions when you get it. I think I will read up this podium. Ha, can you hear me now? You can see me less and hear me more. <laughs> so, peace. It's normal that we undergo emotional turbulence. Look at a child. Child doesn't smile all the time and it's, it's time to go to bed. It doesn't know how to sleep then or... Uh, she starts, he or she starts, the child, baby starts crying, or if it's hungry, it starts crying. If a toy is taken away from a child, it starts crying, it gets angry. All these emotions are normal. But a baby snaps out of all those emotions, doesn't hold on to any of them. The tears are still in its cheek and it starts smiling. Just tell me how many days it takes for you to smile back when the tear has come into your eyes. As an adult, we do not know that because we've never been taught 
how to handle or ha manage or understand even our own minds. Spirituality is understanding yourself, your mind, your emotions, your intellect. Nasti buddhi rayuktasya nacha yuktasya bhavana nacha bhavayata shantya shantasya kutasaka. If you are not harmonious inside, if you are not united with your being, neither can you be intelligent, nor can your emotions be refined. The sharpness of mind comes only when there is calmness within. Do you agree with me? If you are so disturbed, are you able to perceive things better? Are you able to think better? Impossible. So the way to find that peace is meditation. And that is what I would call a spirituality. Religions have values, symbols, practices, but the basic core of every religion, from where it all sprang was spirituality and we have forgotten that. It almost like you are holding on to the banana skin and threw the banana away. We miss the real fact, the practices that we need to be doing in everyday life. And today, fortunately, science has shaken hands with this um, Ancient science of spirituality. The value of yoga, meditation has all uh, been today authenticated. If you ask me why I named my, our movement as Art of Living, there is a story behind it. 40 years, this is the 40th year. Uh, we completed 40 years actually. In those days, 40 years back, Yoga, and spirituality, meditation was a taboo. Especially in the West, even in India. Even in India it was a taboo. That was only for Koi Sadhu Honge, Ailahabad Me, Basmarama Ki Ek Tang Par Khade Honge, or someone sleeping on a bed of nails or full of ashes. That's yoga those days. Abroad also, yoga was not so popular. Or they had some sort of thing, it's, it's people who are out there, That's, it's for them. Or, uh, only people out there would do uh, yoga, it's not a normal practice. This is what the concept was, or inhibition that people had was. But then when I said it's just art of living, people started showing interest in it. They wanted... They got intrigued and they came to see what it is. Let's go and see. And when they saw, they do a little bit of asana, not too much of it. I never force anybody to do that which they cannot do. Ek tank par khade ro, padmasan lagao, vajrasan lagao, when they cannot do it, uh, it's no point. Asana is only a very small, tiny part. But what we need to understand, our mind, and breath has a connection. They play a very important role. Fortunately, today, that prejudice has become so much less. I would say it's almost gone, not fully gone though. More than two and a half billion people on the planet today practice yoga, are their fans of yoga. And this wealth we had in our country and we were not even honoring it. Spirituality has a role to play in bringing peace. In this sense, it teaches us about ourselves. What is this is science? Who am I is spirituality? Are they contradictory to each other. Who am I is not, never contradicts to what is this. If you go deep in science, the theory of relativity is just that. Because subject influences the object or the subject's influence on an object in the, uh, in the knowing of the object is established beyond any doubt. 
सो मन को संभालना ये हमें सिखाना चाहिए टुडे बिगेस्ट चैलेंज द वर्ल्ड फेस इज फेसिंग आफ्टर कोविड इज मेंटल हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम एट द ड्रॉप ऑफ द हैड वी लूज अवर टेम्पा डू यू थिंक दे आर हेल्दी आई डोंट कंसिडर दैम टू बी रियली हेल्दी इफ दे जस्ट लूज दे टेम्पर टू ऑफन इफ दे लुक सो स्ट्रेस and they don't know what to do so confused all these emotions negative emotions are a sign of lack of spiritual guidance or knowledge that's why in gita bhagwan krishna has said nas prasanna chetaso hyashu buddhi paryavatishtati when intelligence regains its seat is when you Uh, feel the pleasantness when you feel calm when you are calm your intellect works and it works very well the sharpness of observation and perception comes up with the calm mind so universal peace or um, world peace is impossible without the individual peace and today you see what is happening the wars are generated in the minds of people not in the weapons the source of war is mind because we have never been taught how to handle our mind our emotions a person who is insecure finds everyone around them as enemies and then he starts what do you say do you agree with me huh insecurity lack of understanding too much of stress improper perception and inability to know one's own strength all together will cause a conflict so to resolve the conflicts people will have to simply sit a little bit and relax yeah. there is too much to do and you have too little time and no energy this is the formula for disaster stress for me stress is simply a lot to do and no time and no energy so it results in one getting stressed and when you are stressed you become deaf I mean you don't listen to anybody kuch log hote hain wo wo sab jante hain unse baat karo to lagega ki deewal ke sath baat kar rahe hain aap no pers- koi perception hi nahi hota they don't receive and you feel you are talking to your wall because they, they judge everything our mind goes on judging everything a mind which is calm which is happy which is collective is a very good receptor most of the conflicts are caused by lack of perceptual ability a lack of uh, you know perceiving receiving what the others are saying whether it is at home in a society or in the parliament you see what they do the mic starts getting wings and they start fly <laughs> mics fly and so much sound so much of shore so much of conflict it is all amounting to not being taught how to handle one's own mind one's own emotions and definitely it is connected with sustainability a greed is a sign of again lack of big picture about life are bhai hum sabko jana hai is duniya se sab log nikal jayenge bank mein bada balance rakh ke chale jayenge aur hamare jo bacche hain wo usko leke ke court mein muqaddame ladte rahenge wo unke jeevan zindagi bhar ka इतना ग्रीड कर इतना ग्रीड और इतना लोभ करके जो भी हमने कमा के रख दिया 
वो ना हम सुखी रहे उससे ना बच्चे सुखी रहते हैं उससे ऐसा हो रहा है तो सस्टेनेबिलिटी डिपेंड्स ऑन अगेन स्टेट ऑफ माइंड when the greed is less we tend to destroy we become more cognizant of environmental issues humko sirf paisa hi dikhta hai to environment kya hai chao kya we are not sensitive to others at all sensitivity sensibility ye sab hamare mein jagna ho to ध्यान की आवश्यकता है योग की आवश्यकता योग मैंने फिर अगेन आई एम से ब्रॉड माइंडेडनेस ए ब्रॉड आउटलुक टूवर्ड्स लाइफ इज एसेंशियल एंड दैट मेक्स अस यू नो सी थिंग्स एज दे आर नॉट एज यू नो as it appears to be when we are stressed hmm usually main zyada bolta nahi thoda sa hi bolta hu fir prashnottar leta hu see uh, in this country from ancient times there is a saying the first sign of intelligence is not to talk once you lose it at least not to talk unless a question is asked सो so, गीता से लेके आप देखे सारे पुराण सब कोई प्रश्न पूछता है तब उत्तर कोई देते हैं मैं ऐसा ही कुछ अपना स्टाइल बनाता हूँ तो आपने आ, कहा कि घर की कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हम कैसे सुधारें मैं यही कहूँगा घर की कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में थोड़ा आप देखो ये पहली बार कॉन्फ्लिक्ट में नहीं आए हो आप जिंदगी भर आप वो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट किसी ना किसी के साथ हुआ ही है भाई अब जाके देखो सब सॉल्व हो ही गया अभी एक कौन सी बड़ी बात है ये भी सॉल्व हो जाए अपने ही अनुभव से तुम्हें हिम्मत मिल जाएगी नंबर वन दूसरी बात है ठीक है क्या इस एक कोई समस्या आ गई इस समस्या से समाधान के लिए पूरा कोशिश करते और वो जब हम अलचल में हो जाते हैं तो समाधान नहीं निकलता थोड़ा सबर करें देन देर इज अ ग्रेटर पावर दैट पावर इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड हैव लिटल फेथ इन दैट बिगर पावर देन आल्सो यू विल सी यू विल सेल थ्रू इट इस तरह से वी कैन वी कैन सी मेनी वेज टू रिजॉल्व द कॉबेब्स और क्लियर द कॉबेब्स दैट गेट फॉर्म्ड इन अवर ओन हेड तो मैं इतना ही कहूँगा अभी आपको कुछ पूछना हो कुछ कहना हो आप पूछिए फिर मैं एक आध बात उस पर करूँगा अच्छा इससे पहले मैं एक कोलंबिया में हमारा एक अनुभव है मैं आपके सामने वो पेश करूँगा कोलंबिया में यू नो इन कोलंबिया व्हाट व्हाट यू प्रेफर इंग्लिश और हिंदी english okay see in, uh, in colombia we were doing work for all the refugees uh, internal internally displaced people what 2 million uh, people were i mean 20 million people were displaced mane 2 crore log displaced ho gaye the andar ki so when we were working with them uh, trauma relief and all that um, it was a big impact on the society so the colombian government uh, invited me that they had decided to give me their highest c- civilian award highest in the state it was given only to two more people before in for 50 years of their existence i said and hamare uh, you know our organizers said dear yeah, gurudev you must come and take it because my first time going to colombia so i went there to receive the award after the award ceremony there was just a formal handshake with the president which was which usually lasts 5 7 minutes but that lasted for 50 minutes and i sat with him he said gurudev i find no other option than the military one 
and america has agreed we are losing people every day and they are causing such havoc they are blowing up our water uh, supplies to the city they are blowing up our electric uh, electron um, the tv towers and communication towers and cell phones get jammed so they are creating so much havoc and we can't take this all talks of failed i offered him why not i go and meet with him he said well if you want to do but i don't see there is any uh, light in at the end of the tunnel mujhe nahi lagta hai isme kuch hoga i mean that's a, uh, that's exactly what he said i don't think that anything much will happen out of it but anyway i said let me go so i went there they were in cuba i took a plane it's about 5 6 hours flight I, there is no formal flights there to cuba from this so i had to take a charter a flight go there and then i wanted to meet with them first they said no said we we don't meet anybody religious spiritual because we believe in karl marx that is our everything so they refused to meet with me but that evening i had a talk in the university of havana and a short meditation and they sent someone to find out who i am and some you know to check me out they sent some feelers these feelers who came there later on went and told them no i felt very good maybe we should meet him then i got the information in the night yes they are ready to meet with me next day 15 commandos the all the top people came to see me and then they told one thing see you are from india from the land of mahatma gandhi so we trust you please go and tell our government colombian government we also heard you, you got the award there you go and tell them what they are doing is wrong this was their intention to come and dictate or tell me take work from me to influence the colombian government to stop atrocities on them you know to make the story short un logon ke sath hum bait i sat with them we spoke and i led them through some meditation at the end of the third day the same people came with me on the stage in the press conference and declared unilateral ceasefire a 52 year old war 52 year where 2 million people lost life 20 million people were displaced came to an end this was this they did not believe neither the media believed nor the government were ready to believe they said it's too too simple to believe it i don't think we will we'll believe it it's just some gimmicks of them i i requested the government just give them one month time you know sometimes apparent reality appears to be true it's not really true after they gave me this uh, assurance and they gave a press conference the next day there was a bomb blast so they said look so ye sab hoax hai jaise ayodhya ka humne shuru kiya abhi shuru hi kiya hum i only landed up there in ayodhya talks of failed <laughs> media ne shuru kar diya tha ye sab जो है नेगोशिएशन सब फेल थ्रू होगा नहीं बट आई टेल यू इवन इन अयोध्या में द सुन्नी वक्फ बोर्ड आई वी शुड रियली रेस्पेक्ट दम दे द प्रेसिडेंट जफर जिला जिलानी नहीं वो जफर फरूकी जफर फरूकी जी he agreed with us and all the other members agreed they signed they released what we got as a judgment later on you must have seen that in the in television about it zafar farooq ji ne unke pure committee ke members se salah kiya so of course there were some elements who were not wanting to his own lawyer was not for it his own without the knowledge of his own lawyer who was fighting in the court the main plaintiff came with his other 
associates, they signed, yes, we would like to accept five acres land somewhere outside and we would like to give up this land for the Hindu. So these sort of thing will happen when we sit in with an understanding, with a pure heart, with a real, see, clarity in mind, purity in heart and sincerity in action if we have, I tell you, there is no conflict that we cannot uh, resolve. We can do it. It may take time. It may appear to have failed for some time. As I said, Colombia, they said it was whole. But I told them, let's give them a benefit of doubt. Give them one month time. Because they haven't even been able to inform the people on the ground. So it takes them at least a month time to make everyone understand. And then we had a grand ceremony of peace treaty that followed uh, that whole episode. Colombia today, if you go, you cannot imagine how it was five years back. Today it's so prosperous and so much rest. When I first went to Colombia, airport, hardly there would be any people. 100 people, 100, 200, 100, 150. Today, thousands are there. The roads, the whole city, whole places prospered. Prosperity be depends on peace. Yaha par bhi dekhe, Jharkhand mein. Why to go to Colombia? Here in our Jharkhand, I gave a call to the people there, the Naxalites, drop the bullet and come to ballot. I went to Latihar jail, spoke to them. More than 1,100 um, Naxalites, they laid down their arms. This is all possible only with spiritual energy, I tell you. Because spirituality, meditation, that brings that faith. Ek to, koi politician bolta hai, to unko usme, wo swikar nahi kar pate hai. Unko pata hai, jo bol rahe hai, humare workers, humare volunteers, unka koi aur paksad nahi hai, intention nahi hai. They are very, they want the best for everybody. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Jab is disha se hum jate hai, humara intentions nek rahe, humara kaam sab jagis thik hota jata hai. To itna hi mein kahe ke, aap sab ko kao ke, do teen prashna I can take. If you have one or two questions, I will take it, two or three questions. And I wish you all the best. Namaskar. I don't think anybody has any questions, so. Namaskar. Hey, kya? Haan, bolye. Huh? And bank nahi hai na? It's okay. Uh -huh.
Yeah. Let me repeat the question. With a guided missile and misguided human being on this planet, wars are happening everywhere. Now, how to bring peace to this world? This is the question, right? How to bring peace when United Nations have tried and though so many negotiations are happening? That's exactly what I'm saying. Misguided people. You are right. You know, um, on the World International Yoga Day, when I conducted a meditation program, our UN General Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon, was there. After meditation, he shared his experience. You know what did he say? He said, Gurudev, we should have this before every negotiation. He said, if we meditate before every negotiation, then at least people would talk sense. Most of the talks fail because nobody has, uh, you know, it's a sort of verbal diarrhea that people go through and not, no sincerity on sit and listen to others. Or listening nahi hai. And we don't see beyond the words. Jo vyakti, jo bolta jata hai, wo shabdon ko pakad ke hum baith jata hai. Ghar mein bhi yehi hota hai. अरे सासू माँ कुछ बोलती है तो वो पकड़ लेती उसको वही बात माँ ने भी कहा है माँ से कितनी बार लड़ाई लड़ चुकी है उसे कुछ लगता नहीं है सासू माँ से छोटी सी बात हो जाती है बड़ी युद्ध राम महाभारत खड़ा हो जाता है अरे माँ और सासू माँ में एक भेद बनाती है क्यों देखो दोनों एर, एक ही एज का है विचार भी करीब करीब मिलता ही है so why did you not do this? Because we never thought in that direction, in that way. Never opened the mind up and saw the picture in a greater context. So here we need to give peace education. The amount of money we spend in defense, even 0.1%, 0.01% what every country spends on missiles, if they spend on peace education, the world will be a better place. Will be much better place. We took the, you know, how many soldiers commit suicide in US every day? Do you have any idea? 27 soldiers commit suicide every day in United States of America. So we started a program called Welcome Home Troops, where the Troops came from all these other places. Am I taking too much time? We, we call it uh, uh, welcome home troops. When we taught the troops who had traumatized, their lives changed. They're so grateful. I know people, the suicidal tendencies disappeared from those people. This is the power of spirituality. It can take you out of depression. It can take you out of suicidal tendency. It can give you enormous energy and strength. It will give you intuitive power. It can make you look into the future more than what the normal person can see. Are so when the intuition improves, success is in your hand. Anything you can do is Because everything, your actions, and your thought depends on its
Yes, Maharshi ji is one of the great uh, sons of this country who wrote Science of Being and Art of Living. He was a very scientific-minded person and, uh, you know, he, he balanced both between science and, of course, uh, art and also in the world politics. He was very much interested in the world politics. He started a party also. But somehow people, uh, it was too soon for people to understand his vision that in fact true. But why should I define peace? Tell me. Definition kyo chahiye? Ne abhi tak to bola hai, oh yehi to bola. Hum chate har cheez kuch define karke ek kone pe bitha de brain mein. Ye spirituality nahi hai. Spirituality hai, man ko khali rakho. पहले ही हम जब जान लेते हैं हर चीज को जान लेते हैं तो नहीं जान ही नहीं सकते कुछ जानना हो सुनिए हम कहेंगे टू प्लस वन इक्वल थ्री टू प्लस वन इक्वल थ्री समझ में आता है या टू प्लस वन इक्वल जीरो बोलेंगे तब भुखला जाता है दिमाग क्यों हमें जो कॉन्सेप्ट में हम बैठे हुए हैं उससे बाहर निकलना पड़ता है सच्चा ज्ञान वही है जो आपके सारे डेफिनेशन को तोड़ दे तो मैं डेफिनेशन नहीं देने वाला थैंक यू गुरुदेव इट वॉज मोस्ट हम्बलिंग to hear your thoughts on the value of yoga, spirituality, and meditation. May I now request our director, Professor Praveen Gupta, to kindly present a memento as a token of our appreciation to Gurudev. Thank you, sir. I now request Sri Sunil Shastri, Trustee Lal Bahadur Shastri National Memorial Trust, to kindly deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you, sir, please. Yahan par upasthet hamare sabhi mitro aur मैं कहूँगा कि हम सब यहाँ पर एक फैमिली की तरह एकत्रित हुए हैं एक परिवार की तरह एकत्रित हुए हैं जहाँ शास्त्री परिवार के लोग भी हैं और यहाँ हमारे गुरुदेव रवि शंकर जी के परिवार के लोग भी हैं तो ये परिवार एक है आज परिवार का यहाँ मिलन है और मैं समझता हूँ कि इस मिलन के माध्यम से जो बातें आज हमारे हिलहोली ने गुरु देव श्री श्री रविशंकर जी ने कहीं वो ये कहा बिल्कुल शास्त्री जी की तरह मेरे पूजने पिता लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जी की तरह जिन्होंने जब से राजनीति में आए उससे फिर प्रधानमंत्री तक पहुंचे तब तक उन्होंने जीवन भर हार्ट टू हार्ट कांटेक्ट मेंटेन किया और लोगों से बात की तभी जनता में पूरा भारत में उनका विश्वास करता था उनको मानता था उनकी बातों को सुनता था आज उसी तरह से हमारे छोटे कद के गुरुदेव रविशंकर जी भी बाप शास्त्री जी की तरह छोटे हैं आप कद के मैंने कहा तो आप भी हैं यहाँ पर और इनके अंदर भी वही गुण हैं 
इन्होंने भी जहाँ भी गए अभी मैं देख रहा था जो यहाँ डॉक डॉक्यूमेंट फिर आ रही थी इनकी फिल्म बनी हुई आ रही थी स्टेज पर आ रहा था तो हम देख रहे थे कि किस तरह से लोग दुनिया में हर जगह इनको अपने से वो अपने साथ मिलाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे उनके पास जा रहे जा रहे थे उनको हाथ पकड़ उनके इशारों को समझ रहे थे और लोग मरवान रहे थे तो मेरा ये कहना है कि आज का जो यहाँ पे अभी डिस्कशन हुआ जब डिबे इन्होंने भाषण दिया मैं भाषण नहीं कहूँगा ये तो गुरुदेव की वाणी थी और मैं कहूँगा ऐसी वाणी जिसने हर हर व्यक्ति को मुक्त कर लिया हर व्यक्ति को उसने अट्रैक्ट कर लिया तो आज ऐसी वाणी का हम लोगों को एक मौका मिला अवसर मिला हमारे लाल बहादुर शास्त्री मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट को लाल बहादुर शास्त्री इंस्टीट्यूट को मैनेजमेंट को कि जिसमें हम लोगों को ये मौका मिला कि कैसे हम लोगों ने सबका सबकी भावनाओं को इनके अपने अपने प्यार से अपने स्नेह से हमने उसको प्रकट किया इनके प्रति और इन्होंने भरपूर प्यार हम सबको स्नेह और प्यार दिया और मेरा ये कहना है आई वुड लाइक टू बी वेरी क्लियर बिकॉज मैं हिंदी में बोलने में जरा सोच रहा था कि शुरू हिंदी से कर दूं तो मैंने शुरू किया लेकिन मैं ये कहना चाहता हूं कि वॉट एवर माई ब्रदर अनिल शास्त्री जी सेड अबाउट गुरुदेव जी वॉज एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट यू नो इनका बिल्कुल एक ही मंशा है जो कि हम कैसे हाउ डू वी क्रिएट एन एटमोसफेयर वेयर पीस कैन बी मेंटेन अभी इन्होंने कहा बहुत सुंदर शब्दों से आपने सवाल किया था तो उसका जवाब दिया इन्होंने तो मेरा ही मानना है कि आज आज के दिन अगर हम लोग इस बात को सुन लें आप बताइए कैसे इन्होंने कोलंबिया का मामला मसला हल किया हाउ डिड ही यू नो रेली इन कोलम्बिया सच अ सिचुएशन वेयर इट यूज टू लुक दैट कभी क्या हो जाएगा क्या नहीं होगा एंड ही मैनेज और न किया अयोध्या का भी देखते ही अयोध्या ऑल्सो वॉट इज सेट कितने नए नाइसली दे टैक्टेड एंड अल्टीमेटली दैट सोल्यूशन इज ऑल्सो सॉल्व सो आज जो है हम लोग नेता लोग हैं पॉलिटिशियन हैं तो हम लोग तो बोल देते हैं ज़्यादा और ज़्यादा बोलने में हम लोग बहुत बार गलत भी बोल देते हैं I'll आई एल बी वेरी फ्रेंक विद यू आई विल नॉट हेजिटेट इन सेम दैट मेनी टाइम्स वी डू से रॉन्ग थिंग्स एंड विच रियली हर्ट्स द पीपल ये लोगों को तकलीफ पहुँचती है लेकिन आज जो उन्होंने कहा ये ऐसे गुरुदेव ऐसे हिज होलीनेस रविशंकर जी जैसे व्यक्ति लोग आज हमारे लिए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण हैं दे आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आस फॉर द सोसाइटी If you will ask me, I will say, for the society, for the nation, आज इन जैसे लोगों की आवश्यकता है आज जो मिस गाइडेड यू टॉक अबाउट मिस गाइडेड मिसाइल आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट मिस गाइडेड पोलिटिशियन आई विल नॉट हेजिटेट इन सेंग दैट मिस गाइडेड पोलिटिशियंस जो आज राजनीति में भटक चुके हैं और वो नहीं सोच पा रहे हैं कि देश की हालत कैसी है और किस तरह से प्राइस राइज हो रहा है किस तरह से एक वातावरण ऐसा बनता जा रहा है जहाँ पे एक दूसरे से अब हमको घृणा होने लगी है एक दूसरे से हमें अब उसे हम उसके ऊपर अटैक करने लगे हैं उसको मारने लगे क्यों ऐसा हो रहा है वाई आप लोग से मैं इसलिए कहना चाह रहा हूँ बिकॉज आज गुरुदेव जी बैठे हैं यहाँ तो आई 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 गॉट लिटल यू नो मोर एनर्जेटिक नाउ of the inner presence and i feel that i should not keep quiet i must talk the truth i must talk the truth and truth only to ke mujhe yaad hai ki babu ji hamesha mujhse bhi anil bhi aise bhi hamare dusre bhaiyon se bhi yahi kehte the ki sunil jeevan mein agar tumhe aage badhna hai to hamesha sach bolna always speak the truth aur unhone kyun kaha isliye ki agar sach bologe तो तुम्हारा रास्ता साफ है योर वे इज क्लियर और अगर नहीं सच बोलोगे तो हजारों झूठ बोलने पड़ेंगे उस सच को उस बात को छुपाने के लिए तो एक बहुत बड़ी बात थी वो भी आई थिंक माई फादर ऑल्सो इफ आई एम विल नॉट बी रॉन्ग इन सेंग दैट ही वॉज ऑल्सो अ संत ही वॉज अ ग्रेट मैन 
एंड जैसे वो करते थे हार्ड टू हार्ड कॉन्टैक्ट विद द पीपल जो रख के बात करते थे इसलिए हर व्यक्ति उनकी बात को सुनता था उन्होंने कहा सोमवार को एक समय भोजन का क्या कर दें हम लोग विल फेस दी क्राइसिस और उस समय पूरे देश ने एक साथ खड़े होकर गुरुदेव जी एक साथ खड़े होकर मंडे को शाम के समय फास किया उन्होंने अन छोड़ दिया तो ये जो है आज ये मैं ये नहीं कहता कि आप आपसे मैं निवेदन नहीं कर सकता कि आप राजनीति में आ जाए ना ना मैं आपसे ये कहूँगा कि स्पिरिचुअल लीडर के रूप में आप आगे बढ़ें और जितने आप बढ़े हैं इससे और एक नहीं दो दो गुना नहीं तीन गुना नहीं हज़ार गुना आप आगे बढ़ें और एज 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 अ फाउंडर ऑफ आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग मैं ये कहूँगा एज अ फाउंडर ऑफ आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग मैं आपसे ये कह सकता हूँ दिस विल लीड ईच एंड एवरी इंडियन टू द पाथ ऑफ परफेक्शन अगर आपके जो ये आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग से जो लोग प्रेरणा लें और उससे कुछ सीखने की कोशिश करें तो दे विल वॉक ऑन द स्ट्रीट ऑफ पाथ टू परफेक्शन दे विल बी एबल टू वॉक ऑन दैट उस रास्ते पर चल सकेंगे तो आज बहुत आवश्यकता है आप जैसे लोगों की भी हमारे सोसाइटी में हमारे समाज में और अगर हम सब अगर अपने आप को भारतीय समझते हैं अपने आप को समझते हैं कि हम उस परंपरा को उस जो एक हमारी बड़ी भारी धरोहर है उसको अगर लेकर हम आगे बढ़ रहे हैं तो हम समझते हैं कि आप सबको उसमें साथ देना होगा ऐसे हमारे गुरुदेव के प्रति इन जैसे महान लोगों के प्रति हमें नजमस्तक होना पड़ेगा इनको झुक कर प्रणाम करना होगा इनके आदर्शों को अपनाना होगा अगर हम अपनाएंगे तो मैं समझता हूँ कि आज का ये जो अट्ठाईसवा हमारा लाल बहादुर शास्त्री मेमोरियल लेक्चर हो रहा है आई थिंक दिस विल बी वन ऑफ द रियली मोस्ट मेमोरेबल लेक्चर ऑफ द डे ऑफ द ईयर तो इसलिए मैं ज़्यादा न कहकर आप सबको बहुत आपने एक बहुत अच्छी बात कही माँ की सासू माँ की तो मुझे याद आ गया मेरी पत्नी यहाँ बैठी है मीरा ये माँ तो है ही और माँ में इन्होंने क्या कर रखा है जादू पता नहीं कैसे किया जादू आई डोंट नो क्या ऐसे किया इन्होंने इनका मेरे तीनों बेटे विनम्र वैभव और विभो तीनों रोज जब जाते हैं घर से चाहे सुबह हो चाहे दोपहर हो चाहे शाम हो पार्टी में जा रहे हैं डिनर में जा रहे हैं तब भी माँ का प्यार छूते हैं आशीर्वाद लेते हैं और वहीं मैं बैठा रहता हूँ मेरे पास नहीं आते मेरे पास नहीं आते मुझे देखते ही नहीं और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा हुआ तो दूर तो बाय बाय ऐसे करके चले जाते हैं अब क्या किया इन्होंने मैं नहीं जानता इनका और उसी तरह से क्या करती हैं ये घूमने जाती हैं वॉक मॉर्निंग में और मॉर्निंग में वॉक करके जब आती हैं तो ये मेरा एक योगा का क्लास ले लेती हैं ये कहती हैं वहाँ पर इतना अच्छा योगा सिखाते हैं आपको मैं बताऊंगी कि आप ऐसे ऐसे करिए तो आपको बहुत अच्छा लगेगा तो एक बताती है तो मैं कह रहा हूँ आजकल योगा ने तो कमाल कर दिया था आज कमाल हो गया नो डाउट आज ये इन्होंने बताती रहती हैं तो इसलिए आपने बहुत ठीक कहा कि यहाँ पे हमारी बहुएं जो हैं तीनों बहुएं वो मुझे नहीं मुझे इज्जत देती हैं सम्मान देती हैं लेकिन मुझसे ज़्यादा उन्हें लेकिन अगर उनको देखा उन्होंने कि डैड को पापा को क्रोध आ गया माँ पर तो उनको बड़ा दुख होता है उनको कष्ट होता है कि क्रोध क्यों किया तो और मुझे मीरा ये कहती हैं आप क्रोध मत किया कर जब क्रोध आए तो आप चुप हो जाइए मत बोला करिए बोलिए कम तो बात ठीक है कहती है ठीक कहती हैं लेकिन एज अ ह्यूमन बींग आई विल एक्सेप्ट दैट आई आई एम एट पॉट ऑन मेनी ओकेजन मैं ज़रूर कई बार गुस्सा हमें भी आ जाता है जैसे आपने कहा गुस्सा आ जाता है तो गुस्सा आ जाता है लेकिन मैं कोशिश इस बात की करता हूँ कि गुस्सा नहीं करूँ और आराम से रहूँ सबसे प्यार से बात करूँ और मैंने कोशिश यही की है और अपने पूछने पिता लाल बहादुर शास्त्री जी के पचनों पर चलते हुए मैं यही वादा करता हूँ आप सबको कि हमारा मेरे शास्त्री परिवार की तरफ से आप सबको हमेशा स्नेह प्यार और आशीर्वाद मिलता रहेगा बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद 
And I think I will certainly like to conclude by saying that what a wonderful memorial lecture we had day we had today. And from Guru Dev Ji ke prati, I will kahunga ki let us all stand up and give him a, ovation, a standing ovation. And I appreciate this. Too. Thank you very much. Sir, we have the honor of having our ambassador from Uzbekistan. The place, as Anil Bia said, mentioned that he is the citizen of Uzbekistan now. Similarly, I would like to say that Jobi Unikaha, Hindi me Mabin Yohani Bola, Angreji Bola, to Nuna Yei Bate Junikaha, Yiki Ap Hindi Nijante, to Pumpa Sharm Lagay Mude, to Mana Hindi Bola Shrukia, Firma Etna Bola Hindi me, Kilog, Hardege Mude Bula Rete, or Hindi me soon Rete Merbashko. To Bahat Pair Karte has Pakistan Kilog, and we are really very thankful to you for coming here, sir, and I would also very thankful to all of you. आप सब लोगों ने अपना वैल्यूबल टाइम निकालकर आज इस मेमोरियल लेक्चर को बहुत शानदार बनाया अ ग्रेट इवनिंग फॉर अस एंड फॉर द एंटायर लालबाटा हमारे आपका आपका सवाल बहुत अच्छा था प्रोफेसर आपका सवाल बहुत अच्छा था आई वाज लिसनिंग वेरी केयरफुली एंड आई थिंक जस्ट हमारे गुरुदेव जी ने बहुत अच्छा आपको जवाब भी दिया Thank you, sir. As we have come to the end of today's program, I would like to thank everyone for gracing this occasion with their valuable presence. I would request our guests to join us for high tea and seek Gurudev's blessings. Thank you and have a blissful evening. Thank you.